In Ready Math Lesson 22, we begin to work on the data portion of our unit. So measurement and data is the unit we're in. We've done all of the measurement, and so we're looking at different ways to display and understand data. And so in this lesson, we're understanding reading and making line plots. And line plots is one of the first data representations we use because it's one of the easiest ways to read data. So in the book, it breaks down for you kind of what a um, line plot looks like. So you'll notice that it has a title because you have to have the information of what you're looking at. If you don't know what the title of the graph is, you're not going to know what you're looking at. So that's really important. You always give it a title. It's also important that you label it. So here we have the label. We see that this is about sea lions and they've measured sea lions. And we're looking at their length in inches. Again, we talked about this before, but it's really important that you label what unit you're using. Because if it was feet, it'd be a lot different than inches. You'll notice that they've kind of used a number line, set it up. And so this is a line plot. So we think about that number line. We're going to use that to help us record the data. And they put an X to represent each of the sea lions. So let's look at an example. We're actually going to take it from the book and we're going to practice creating our own line plot. So we're going to use this table from the book and you'll notice that we're looking at room lengths and meters. And so I'm going to like sure I label it. So we're looking at different rooms. Let me make sure I get the right color here. So let's use blue. And so up here at the top, I'm going to write the word room. And the length down here, make sure we label our unit, is going to be meters. All right, so I've Labeled that. Now we're going to continue to label. Now we've got to label the numbers across our number line. And that's going to be based on the information from the table. So I look back up at the table. I look at the list of information. And I see that 6 is my smallest number. And it looks like 11 is my biggest number. So I want to make sure I number from 6 to 11. So I'm going to start over here with 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And I know again that this is eleven or ten or nine meters. We're using meters, all right? So now to create our line plot, we're going to take the pieces of data and I'm going to switch colors again. And we're going to put an X above each time we see the data used. So we're going to start off with right here, we can just go in order. A is 8, so I'll make sure I put an X over top of the 8. Then we have B is 6. Room C is a 10 meters. Room D is 9 meters. Room E is 11 meters. And then room F is another 10. And so because there's more than one 10, I kind of just stack them up. So now I've used the table. I've created my lawn plot. Now it helps me see the information a little bit better. I can see that the biggest room is 11 meters. The smallest room is 6 meters. And I can see that there are two rooms that are 10 meters. So using a lawn plot helps us kind of see the data a little bit easier than it did in the table. So let's look at this example right here. This one's already completed for us. But once we have it done, we can actually start to answer questions about the information, or about the data. So we see that this one is about Bo's running distances. So Bo maybe has been training, or he's maybe running cross country or something. So we see that this is a record of all of his distances that he's run. And of course, they're measuring it in miles. So how many miles he ran. All right. So we see that each data point is one of his runs. So he's run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine 
total runs, all right? And so that's nine X's. So we know that this is showing us nine different days of him running. And then I can see that the furthest he's run is, well, that would be an eight. The furthest he's run is eight miles. The shortest distance he run is two miles, and he did that on two different days. All right, I can continue to create and ask questions about this data. I could ask you, how many times did he run three miles? Well, all I would have to do is look at and find three miles on my um, line graph and then count. One, two, three days he ran three miles. Or I could say, how many days did he run more than four miles? Well, here's four. I wanna know how many days he ran more than four. So there's one, two, three days. He ran more than four. He ran two fives and an eight. So lots of information, lots of questions can be asked when we have used a line plot to help make our data a little bit easier to read and understand.